Welcome once again to another edition of the Panther TV. <laughs> Gentlemen uh, here with us. Um, he is actually one of the most intellectual that I've known for quite a while. And basically the reason for him to be here today is because he made a post on his social media say the reason why Africans is dying is because of religion. So I actually come across the post and I decided to call him for some one-to-one -one chat to understand what is the reason for him to say that. So, uh, sir, you can go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience. Okay, uh, thank you very much for this having me here. Uh, first of all, my name is uh, Ajay Castro and uh, I'm from Ghana. Okay, and uh, about the post, what I said about the post, okay, about... Uh, religion is killing Africa okay what I meant it was that first of all Africans we are so much religious we think that we have somebody helping us in terms of uh, our daily daily out okay uh, maybe God is going to provide food from from heaven for us thinking that even though we pray every day God is going to bring us some money in the pocket for business and that is why Africa is lacking so much development as you mentioned Mr. Castro um, you said you're from Ghana West Africa right yeah exactly and I've been in Ghana I noticed Ghanaians are so so uh, I'm from Africa as well but I just want you to tell us in details what was your purpose of the post because what is the purpose of you posting it what is the point you're trying to raise well, first and first, uh, as you said, I was I was born in a Christian home. Okay, I grew up in a Christian house. But growing up, I started asking questions about everything about about my belief system. I came and realized that okay, uh, there are so much questions that we need to ask. But when growing up, we realized that okay, we we if you are try to ask any question with uh, your belief system, the parents tell you to shut up and they don't ask anything, just follow. And we did that. But the, the, the main purpose of this is that we Africans need to wake up from this. Okay, we have to understand that this book, the Bible, Quran, whatever it is, was brought to us by our slave masters. These people that came on, on, on our land took our resources, for example, gold and others. Okay, and they left us with a, with, 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 with a book called Bible. Okay, I'm talking from the Christian background, Christian, uh, for instance. So, so, so right now in the Bible, it's written in the Bible that, okay, there's nothing here we need on the earth. Just die. And if you die, there's so many things up there waiting for you, for you to get it. Okay. So you want to tell me that these people, if you look around the world right now about the uh, different countries, for example, Europe and others, are they building their heaven on the earth or do you think they are, they are just wasting their, their lands and all that? Look at how they are developing their countries. Look at how they are doing every new things all the time. So if in the book is written that uh, there's nothing here on, on the earth, so die. And if you die, there's so beautiful place out there called heaven. That's where you're going to be. You're going to work on gold and all kind of stuff. So do you think, do you think, if such place exists up there on the, on, on the top there called heaven, place full of God, do you think if that place has, exists, do you think a black man will have access to this particular book? No, no, I don't think so. Um, the reason why I think um, what you're saying is a very good point is because I actually saw some of these things you're saying. I saw them and I'm in the midst of it. But um, you are making a very good point, which I, I may say, as a religious person, I'm not going to say I'm going to think about it, but I'm going to read my book. So, and, and continue. So, what is the point, or which way you think Africans are going to save themselves from them dying through religion? That is going to take a long time. Why do I say that? Because uh, Africa, we are all mental slavery. I put myself in because I know what I'm talking about. Because uh, we are we are enslaved by physically from the white people, but in mentally we are not. We are still mental slavery. Because if you look at something here here right now about the religion, for instance, okay. Now we have so many religious in this world. 
in each of each of them is saying their way of worship is the best muslim is saying the same thing christian is saying the same thing hindu other things are saying the same thing okay now how would i know the true religion that's the question ask yourself how would i know now according to muslim for instance maybe you okay if you if you don't join them in their way of worship you are going to their hell the same applies to christianity if you don't join their way of worshiping jesus christ you are going to christian hell so the question here is that do this god want us to bring division between humanity that's the first question each of them is saying the book is from god the book is from god so now why a, a god manuscript have divisions way of thinking way of reading it's just far different from each other so which one can we believe even and where will you know okay this is the good or this is the bad one we don't even know okay and uh, some might say that um, basically we grew up from a religious home but my question is this you were raising a point saying if the book was the way for people to go to heaven a black man to go to heaven white people will not give it to us so can you give us example what you mean by that okay let's take for example the way of we travel visas okay let's take it let, let's take this one first now look at how people the black people are suffering to get a visa you go to the embassy mm -hmm. you put, put money mm -hmm. and they'll tell you okay go come back some days and if you can rejected most of them get rejected with no reason why because they don't need you in the country mm -hmm. they don't want you in their country because because they think that you're not qualified to come to the country okay. they're a beautiful country so if as compared to the book you have in right now is saying that if you die we they have a place waiting for you up there full of gold you as a black man going to walk on the gold with them with the white people so do you think if that place really really exists okay a black man will have access to this particular book i leave this question to this this questions and everything out there for the fully believers ask yourself those questions mm -hmm. so if it is true that we are going to work on the gold and all that with this white people do you think that we're going to have access to the book? The question, the question is, is, is been asked. <laughs> if you are going to have access to it, because I remember when I was traveling um, to different countries, they ask you for your bank account, bank statement, what is your purpose? <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like I was George. I was being George in that particular exactly. moment. You know? So many questions. Yeah. I so this is that we Africa. We have to understand that we we were spiritual in life we were spiritually inclined in terms of africa we knew god before the white man before the white man, white man book let me put this way because our forefathers knew the way of worshiping they knew how to pray to god they knew everything but when the white man came in they said that throw your yours away and take mine and now we we right now as african we are missing something okay and what we are missing now is that we are missing something and what we are missing now is that we are combining spirituality and religion which is wrong there's two differences between spirituality and and religion I'm going to elaborate a little bit the details, okay, if you have time. But uh, we can just do it another time if you think. I think it's yeah, yeah. Um, so, Mr. Castro, before we, I know you're a very busy person. Before we end up this conversation about religion, or before I uh, got caught up with another project, I just want you to tell me, Mr. Castro, what is the way forward for Africans not to die because of religion? Well, uh, first thing first, what we need to do now, we have to understand that our forefathers were having a kind of religion let's say the way of worshiping god if we africa can go back to our root africa is going to wake up but because as looking at something right now we are forgetting the our, our forefathers 
we are forgetting the way of the worshiping God. Now, as compared to uh, our forefathers' time, the olden days and present time, compare something. During our forefathers' time, it was very difficult for you to steal. Because why? If you do, the gods of the land will deal with you. Now look at something right now. Look at the present day. Look at our politician, for instance. They come in power. They sworn in with the Quran. They sworn in with the Bible. But they still get there. They loot your money. And then we trust them because we trust the Quran and the Bible. Exactly. We trust them with all high because that's why, the way we brought up. So in this case, if they sold the Quran and the Bible, but they still get up there, they take all the money, they don't care about you. I mean, they know more than we do. Of course, because they've, they've, they've noticed that we are so religious. Okay, we are so religious. We, we, they notice that we are so religious. So in this case right now, they are trying to do something like, let's say for example, it's a, instead of them to just uh, build a project, open the businesses and open the jobs for the, for the people, they don't do it. You know why? Because they've noticed that these people like praying too much. Even though we don't do it, okay, they'll go to church and pray. So this is the reason why the politicians are not even talking about the way the pastors are looting their congregations. Because when I say looting, because look at how the pastors, rich pastors in Africa, having jet, cars, mansions, name it, and look at their members. You know, what an interesting topic. I think this topic uh, is so interesting because I'm learning a lot right now. And, uh, you know, what I've been doing lately, since I saw your post was read about, read through the Bible, read mm -hmm. through the Quran, try to get understanding. But for me, I think in the book is actually genuine, but the preachers or the religious leaders are the people that are deceiving the people. Don't you think so? Well, when you say that, uh, it's wrong. You know why? It's because uh, how they interpret the Bible, and how to interpret the Quran is something that uh, is not even the same. Let me put it this way. Let me take Christian for instance. If you, let me, let's go there and see the one, okay? Christians, for instance, we have so much different, different, different churches. We, okay? We have the Catholic Church and all that, okay? And we have just people, everybody can just open up a church if they if, if we think it's okay for you. They call themselves like, uh, I don't know the name they used to call themselves. Catholic. Okay. Catholic churches. Everybody, <laughs> oh, you know what? I, so all these churches around Africa, Orthodox. each and each and Orthodox churches, yeah. each, and, each and everyone, okay? Each and everyone have their way, way, way of uh, doctrine their members. Now, look at something. In, in Christianity, a Pentecost, okay, Pentecost, uh, a member, and uh, let's say Saturday people, how they worship Christians, how they worship is far different. And even, they are all holding the same Bible, but you, you guys cannot get married in terms of even uh, uh, if, if one, one, one were to marry each other. For example, uh, 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 even, even it's, it's, it's far different yeah. because if I'm a Pentecost, for instance, and you are from maybe a Saturday a church member, yeah. my doctrine is far different from yours. Yours is different. You might not like something, you might not eat some food, but I'll eat everything. But we are holding the same Bible. Why? Why the same Bible have different divisions? Why the same Bible have different doctrines, different churches, different way of, of worshiping? Why? So, so you mean this God is a one love God bringing us together in a way that we can all be in the same place? I don't know why this God is also dividing us in this way, in terms of doctrine, different, different doctrine. Maybe it's misleading from people that are reading it. That is what I'm saying, because everybody self-interest. The way I understand the Bible, I will interpret to you. Okay. The way you understand the Bible, I interpret to your members. Just to take what you want. That's just it. What you want. Just, just enrich yourself. So religion is like, it's a business in Africa. Always I say this, and you the church member, you are the customer. Okay? And the Jesus Christ, for example, Jesus Christ in the Bible is a product. So in this case right now, the pastor as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as the owner, the, the beneficiary, will take the product and sell to you as, as a customer. So you always go to church Monday to Sunday, sowing seed, paying this stuff. But you're forgetting that, you are, you are giving somebody's father uh, 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 money. And they are, look at, look at the kind of message they have in Africa.
not to, not even thinking about the poor. So for us, for me, for us to be very, 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 very effective people again in Africa, to for us to enslave ourselves, okay. we have to do away first and with the uh, belief system, which is going to take time. Because whatever I'm saying, I know for sure people are going to like it, but I know I'm just saying it because it's, it's true. If we don't go back to our roots, way of worshiping, forget about it. Because you know why? Right now, even in church, you can put your phone on a table, just stand up, worship God. <laughs> but by the time you come back, you don't see it again. Somebody will take from the church, in the church. But as compared to the olden days, okay, where the gods of the land are there, Try to steal something in your society. They will deal with you. So as I said, that if for Africa to, 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 to stand up, to wake up from this call, what do we need to do? All our politicians are supposed to do away with the Bible and the Quran. Go straight away. Go straight away in the shrine. When they are trying to come in power, they should go and swan, swan in, 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 in the shrine that okay i'm coming to power i'm gonna do this if i don't do it this is supposed to happen to me through the traditional method they should do it traditional way and if they do it let's see how it goes and i believe me if anybody that do that okay if you don't fulfill your promise what is going to happen to you they will never forgive you you already know what happened to them <laughs> but they, they, they've taken Christian and Muslim, the Quran for granted, they don't even care. Or oh, if I say this, it will not happen, nothing, nothing is going to happen to me. I sworn this is going to happen. I'm sworn. Hey, they don't care about this. They know that the Bible and the Christian cannot, cannot do nothing to them. It is actually an educative topic. I'm really happy to have you as my guest. Thank you. And I'll do my research. And I hope one of these days I'll call you back and um, maybe we can go in more about details, this conversation. Exactly. More details. Details. Because um, I, as we all know, viewers know that Panther TV is actually here to educate people. Exactly. The, we, we are the new people that we need to educate each other, not yeah. to. Uh, your la my last comment of with the youth out there. We need to wake up, okay? We are the youth and we need to wise up our brain. Okay, we, should, we shouldn't follow what is uh, what our, 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 our leaders doing, thinking that is right. Let's wake up from the core. If you try to read more, do a little more research, we get to know all this stuff I'm talking about. Okay, so let's, let's try to wake up from this. Africa is our home and it is a very beautiful place we can be. It's a place where we're full of uh, resources that the people around us want it. They want to take it away, but we don't know. But they're using some means, and these are the certain means they're using to take it away from us. But let us know that there's a place up there, so we don't care about nothing here on earth. So let's focus on about the, this earth. This earth is our home. This is a place for us. But the Bible is telling you there is this place is nothing, but they are building this place, they are building their heaven here. You know, when you say there is a place on heart, because uh, <laughs> it's a very interesting thing, because we found out that these people are actually building another planet of space, you know. So we are wondering where the heaven is right now. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, well, heaven is even a question, and is, uh, uh, we, have, we have millions of heavens. We'll pay my research, buy my, my car, enjoy life. Don't die and die in poor thinking that there's a place up there I'm going to enjoy. Because if that, that place really, really exists, I know for sure a black man will not get that money, not get that book. Because these they, people, they want to control it again. Yes, these people, <laughs> yes, this for sure. These people will not allow a place full of gold walking on the gold. They need a black man there with them. Look at how people are suffering on earth. Look at racism around this world. Look at look at what is happening in the USA. Look at look at all these things. White and blacks. Do you think these people want us together? Nah. Yeah. So, so so this is a very 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 broad thing. We need to go details. But as you said, okay, I'm just going to end here for another time. Okay, we can now discuss very details about the whole thing. So, well, one more. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you here. very much, too, Mr. Castro. I'm really happy to get you, well, and I hope you your message much. passed through. And I wish you all the very best in your fighting to educate the young ones exactly. that are coming up. I want to say uh, it was an amazing moment. I learned a lot, and as I'm telling you, I'm going to still do more research, and I'm going to try to prove you wrong because I'm a Muslim member too. Exactly. You know, but I like that. I like yeah, that. As uh, audience, as audience. As an audience, the best way to prove Mr. Castro wrong is to do your research.
and then um, leave, leave your comment below the video and then try to subscribe for more educative um, program from the exactly panther exactly. tv, panther TV yeah. thank you very much thank you you have thank a wonderful you. day sir thank you thank